Ladies and gentlemen, it is the 24th of March, 2014. This is your video blog of the day. It's Monday here. So let's make it happen, all right? I got a few things to talk to you about today. Come on. I like to see my hands when I talk. I like my expressions. Here we go. People ask me a lot of times, what's something that is so necessary to become successful at everything you do? There's a lot of things. There's not one thing, okay? There's a lot of things. Uh, but one of the most important things, we've blogged about it before. If I was going to give you three things that are the most essential, that without these three things, no matter what goal you have, what purposes you have, no matter how good you are at something, without these three things, you're not going to get anywhere. And with these three things, three things that if you have them, even if things may not be in the best condition right now, they will be if you have these three things that I'm about to tell you. Are you ready? Arash, what are the three things? Number one, self-belief. you got to believe in yourself. Two, self-belief. Yes, three, self-belief. You got it. Clever. Clever, Arash, motherfucking Dibazar. you damn right it is clever. Three things are one thing, okay? And if without self-belief, without believing in yourself, I don't care what else you got going on, dude. I don't care what else you got going on right now. So, see, the bottom line is if you don't believe in yourself and you get some kind of success, then what happens is anybody could come around and make you doubt it. And the moment you start to doubt, the moment you start to doubt who you are and what you're doing. Oh my God. Perfect fucking timing now that I just started my video blog. So I'm just going to say this and then text me the rest. I can't do anything tomorrow. If you want to do something tonight, tonight. Cool? Text me. Yeah, but briefly. Can you for sure do it then? I just want to know if you could do it for sure at that time. That's all. No, you can't do that time. I don't have time for all day, all day. So if you could do that, then I could do it. Okay, I'm 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 literally on the video. You'll see yourself, but go ahead. Yes or no? Just come on. I'm in the middle of a video vlog. Okay, why don't you? For sure. Hello. No, you can't. No, you can't because I I have a life. I can't. You're going to make a decision and you're going to move on it. It's real simple. You make a decision and you, and you move on it. Simple. We'll figure out a solution. Text me right now. Text me right now. I have this conversation on text. I have to keep the blogging. Bye. Yes, when you are as busy as myself, each fucking interaction has to be scheduled, okay? I'm sorry. That's just the way life is, all right? So if by chance you're watching this, and I've given you my time, whether it's on Skype or whether it's in person for whatever reason. Believe me when I tell you that I'm probably one of the most busiest, most busiest. I don't know if that's uh, uh, correct English. I'm one of the most busy people that you know. I guarantee it. And I get busier every day. But it doesn't matter. Everything will still get done. Okay? That's the state of mind. Why? Because I just went over it. Self-belief. You just got to know that you can do it. You just got to know that you can do it. That's all there is to it. There's no other way around. Now, without self-belief, you could have anything else going on. Anything else. And it'll break because the moment somebody else doubts you, you'll get out of your purpose and doing what you want to do to go and, and appease them and make sure that they're okay with you. How many of you right now are in a situation where you are um, Suffering because some family member or or friend or lover doesn't believe in you. Think about it. How many of you are in a position where you should be moving forward, but you're spending so much energy trying to convince somebody who's close to you that they should believe in you? God, you need to just get it. that it, That is not the way things go. And when you're looking at someone who's made it in life, they've had to deal with the same bullshit you're dealing with. The difference is they have three important things going. They believed in themselves when nobody else did. They believed in themselves when nobody else did. And motherfucker, they did what? Bam! 
You heard my voice in your head. They believed in themselves when nobody else did. That's what you got to do, okay? It's very important. Without it, you're going to fail in every other aspect of life. Or if you succeed, then you're going to break down at some point, okay? Total confidence moving forward. I'll do, I'll do a video blog on confidence one day, okay? Next, I want you to get this idea. I want you to, tr you know what trampling means? To just trampling on shit, walking through it. I want you to trample. I want you to trample on. I want you to step on any kind of limitation that you have in your head. Limitations are in your head. If there's somebody else in the world who has achieved it, if there's anybody else in the entire world who's done it, then that means it's possible. Now, you may end up in a position where I find myself in a lot of times where you might be the first person that has to do it. And even then, you need to go. But I'm not. I'm, let's not talk about the fucking rare one individual who ends up cutting a new path for society. I'm talking about whatever goals and dreams or lifestyle you want to live. There's probably somebody on planet Earth who's doing it now or who's done it before. Okay. Now, what you need to do is take the little limitations that you have, and you know, in your mind, become a fucking giant. Step on it. Move forward. See yourself. The way that you want other people to see you. See yourself the way that you want other people to see you. Because the way that you see yourself is exactly how they're going to see you eventually. Do you get what I'm saying? It, you have to, in your mind, take the limitations keep stepping on them. And you have to refuse in your mind to accept mediocrity. Because that mediocrity that you're looking at... The, the, the mediocrity in your mind that's like, oh, well, you know, I'm only going to make so much money. I'm only going to be with so many. If, if you're a guy, you know, I'll be lucky if I get that one girl to like me. Dude, wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up and go to SeductiveInstinct.com because I'm about to show you how to fucking understand the mating ritual in a way that'll blow your fucking mind, okay? Trust me, but you have to put in your work. And ladies, same thing goes for you. You ladies are some of the most beautiful ladies I know and you're out there acting like you're a fucking beggar. It's so disgusting to me to see a woman who's so beautiful walk around and crave attention from a bunch of fucking baboons. You degrade yourself. <laughs> you degrade yourself. And your chances of being with a man like me end up being zero at that point. I'm sorry. Can't hang with a chick who goes around throwing her vagina on everyone's face and acting like she's not. Do you understand how that works? When you throw your vagina on everyone's face and you act like you're not, you know what I'm talking about, ladies? You know what I'm talking about. You act like, oh, oh, I see looking at me because you look like a whore. Okay, that's why. That's why. And you don't have boundaries. That's why. Because you don't set motherfucking boundaries in your life. It's okay. My girls are all beautiful, but they fucking know. They fucking know. Okay? So anyways, let's keep going. What else you got? Okay. Um, let everything, this is all part of it. Uh, let everything that you do in your life, everything that you do in your life, be a proper representation of you. And I truly believe that it is. See, I can tell a lot about a person by the way they do everything. By the, the, the way I think I, I put this as status a long time ago, the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. Okay? That's really true. Now, you have to have perception to see what I'm saying, a, a deeper level of perception. But, yeah, I forgot the fucking um, mug. It's in the car, actually. But... Let everything you do represent you. Everything you do. Your car represents you. Your room represents you. Your house represents you. Your relationships represent you. Your clothing represents you. Look at what my clothing represents. She represents me. Absolutely. And I represent her. Look. We're, oh, my heart's beating for her. Bop, 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 bop. That's just my heart. Okay? All right. Think about it. I want you to take the limitations that you have in your mind and just in, in your mind trample on them. I want you to become a giant in your mind. I want you to walk through and see yourself the way you want to be. See, try it. Walk through and see yourself the way you want the world to see you. You see, if you can't see yourself that way, what do you expect them to come see you? You, you are the most intimate individual to yourself. You know yourself more intimately than anybody else does, just so you know, okay? And you, in, in, in your own world, if you can't see yourself as, as, a, as a powerful personality, as a powerful force, how is anybody else going to see you like that? Will you expect them to come notice something in you haven't seen? Come on now. Ah, this is so lame. Now, the next thing I want to say, I want to take a little time on it because I think it's very important and I really haven't seen anybody talk about it yet. Here we go. Have you ever asked yourself, 
what do you owe the world for living in it? Think for a second. <laughs> it's, it's, listen. This is one of those false ideas that's passed on to society that makes people weak. I don't owe nobody nothing. I don't owe nobody shit. It's cool when I say that, right? I don't owe nobody shit. Yeah, there's a time and place to say that. When you're angry. Let me give you another thought. Let me give you another thought. You owe the world a lot. You owe the world a lot. In fact, the knowledge that comes out of my fucking noggin, my head, and I can communicate it to you, is due to all the research and study that I do of all the fucking great people that came before me who took their goddamn time to put it on book. The least I owe them is to put forward their knowledge in present time in a way that can be understood by the current society. Also, I owe a lot of people a lot of things, actually. And I know that's kind of general, but I can tell you that I'm not going out hunting my food right now. Did you know that I'm not actually going out today with a fucking spear and spearing something? I don't even know if I would fucking be able to do that. I don't like killing shit. Uh, if I had to, I'm sure I would. But the point is, all I got to do is get in my fucking car that I did not make myself, drive, get some fucking gas that I did not fucking pull out of the fucking ground, just give some green paper for it, which is funny as fuck to me, and then go to the grocery store or fucking, I went to a Polo Loco today, and order myself some food that I didn't fucking make, and they're going to make it and give it to me. And I don't owe no one nothing. Oh, yeah. Okay, you fucking retard. You owe the world your contribution. How's that? Here's a new thought. You owe the world your contribution. Here's another one. If you work somewhere, you owe that place your workload and your contribution. Okay? Because they're providing you with a fucking job. So either get the fuck out of there or do your motherfucking best. Simple. Don't, don't take a shit where you work. Okay? Don't take a shit where you work. If you don't like your work, leave. Until then, do your best job. Don't be one of those dumb motherfuckers that, that you know, there's something that my dad told me one time. His shit stuck out of my head. It's like a cow who, who, you, who gives you great milk and then right when it's in the bucket, kicks the bucket and spills the milk. Okay? You don't want to be that motherfucking cow. Shout out to my dad, Mr. Hassan Di Bazar, for teaching me that little analogy a long, long time ago. That imagery was so strong in my head. always stuck in my head. Okay? So listen. You absolutely owe the world something. You absolutely owe the world something if you're living in it right now. And see, if every single person took this view, it would be different. Now, let's let's look at this, okay? I even owe my haters something. Yeah, I do. I owe them a fucking shitload of success so that they can fucking burn their motherfucking eyeballs because motherfucker if you're hating on someone like me you're either psycho crazy criminal or you have one fucking punk ass motherfucker who's never made it in life and you're just wishing that I didn't make it so either way get ready get ready get ready get ready for your fucking ass to just be just dying looking at my life you already dying if you're hating okay I even owe them something I owe my fans something. I owe my family and my friends. I owe everyone in my life something. I owe the motherfucking planet something. I'm going to leave it in a better condition than I found it. And what if you thought this too? And what if every single person you came in contact thought this too? What do you owe to your relationships? Have you ever thought about that? Yeah, we always think about what they owe me. Listen, it's backwards. It's backwards. It's backwards. It's backwards, okay? You're only as valuable as you serve others, okay? So if you want to be a valuable human being, you have to serve people. You have to, serve, you have to be of service. You have to be the kind of individual that people are glad you're around. Think about it for a second, okay? Think about it for a second, what I'm saying right now to you. How important is it to be surrounded by the kind of energy where people go, I'm grateful for everything that's been given to me. I mean, for the first whatever amount of years of our lives, we, we can't take care of ourselves. We have our family taking care of us, you know, whoever, whatever is going on. And it's important to recognize that. I'm just checking myself out. Okay. 
So let's do a quick little recap on some stuff, all right? And maybe go a little bit deeper into one or two of them. The, what is the most important thing that you need to have to be successful? You have to have self-belief. And what about the second one? It would be self-belief, and the third one would still be self-belief, okay? So really start to look at look at it as how important it is in anything you do because it's like the it's like the roots of the tree. It, it, it nourishes the tree. It nourishes your life. Your belief in yourself nourishes everything you do. And remember, your belief in yourself has nothing to do with other people believing in you. That's why it's called a self-belief, okay? Video blog way, way back in time, which would be like three months ago. Okay, next... All the limitations that people set for you, it, and, and you know, here's the thing. They can set limitations all day long. It's not about them. It's the limitations you set for yourself. But ask yourself, how do you see yourself in your mind? Something really interesting happened today. I was at the Survival Center filming uh, something for the Survival Center channel. And Kasame, who's Takaraba's dog, it's a black German shepherd, boy's becoming strong and tough and fucking very scary dog. Uh, he's a little bit out of control, so took him out of the crate, and uh, he started fucking around. So I started to try to corner him. Well, that motherfucker wasn't going to happen. So he's trying to run around me, and I'm walking this way, he walks this way, I'm walking this way. And let me tell you, I didn't time it, but I can tell you it was really intense. So I got a big black German Shepherd in front of me who's a fighting dog who knows how to fucking do his shit. Even though he's young, he's no joke. You don't want to take a bite from that guy. And he's like testing me. He's going this way. He's going this way. I'm right in front of him like this. And at some point, I realized this activity can go on for a very long time. A, B, I might get attacked. So I better be ready. And then I realized that those two thoughts in my mind were definitely not going to help this interaction. One thing was for sure. That dog was going to know who the fuck Alpha is in this case. So what did I do? In my mind, I started to trigger the imagery that I have when it comes to who I am in my life. And I immediately blew that shit up. And I looked at that dog and I was like, motherfucker, I don't care. I don't care what you are. I know what I am. And I'm not, man, I will go all, I will literally, I will literally stop all activity until he gives up. And I know that about me because that is in my career in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I've done that more than one. I've done that more than one occasion. I've had a match which was like 45 minutes or something because some punk blue belt. And I was like, a, I think I was a brown belt at the time, which is two belts higher. A piece of shit started just testing me after class. He's like, you want to train a little bit? Yeah. And I was, I was having a really, really tough time with them. Really tough time with them. And I, I, Batata, my teacher, was sitting there watching. Everyone's gone. And I just knew. At some point, I looked at the clock and I knew. I was not going to do anything for the rest of the day. Because I was not going to say, let's stop. I'm just not going to do that. So about 45 minutes or 47 minutes into it, he was like, hey, bro, you want to stop? I was like, it's up to you, man. It's up to you. And he was like, yeah, let's stop. I said, are you sure? He's like, yeah. I said, all right. We shook hands. And then... You know, I, I, I honestly, I, I learned that from my teacher, Matata, my jiu-jitsu teacher, Matata. He's, he's a bad motherfucker. That guy is one of the baddest, baddest motherfuckers I know. He's, he's a dangerous man. And that's one of the things he taught me, you know. Uh, I, I just, if I get in that mode, I won't give up, okay? I will not. So there's an imagery that goes with that. Anyways, what the fuck? He's now just talking to me about that. But I guess that's what a video blog is. So... I just was back and forth and back and forth, and I'm wearing a sweatshirt and sweats, and it's hot today. Uh, so I'm sweating like a motherfucker, but I'm looking at the dog, and the dog's like, <laughs> and I'm going, sooner or later, bro, you're going to fucking give up. But guess who's not going to give up? Me. Why? Because the imagery in my mind, I just kept getting it stronger and stronger. But the sneaky motherfucker ran past me on one of them, but Taco Robert was there, grabbed him by the neck, put him on the ground, and submitted him, and... That was the end of that, <laughs> but it was it was intense, okay? So listen, it's important that you recognize that the imagery in your mind and how you see yourself, trample on your limitations. Take those fucking limitations and bend them, okay? Bend them in your mind. Like, be like, fuck that. I'm more than that shit. I'm more than that. And then finally, probably the most important one out of all of them to me is, yes, yes, you owe the world something. Ask yourself, what do you owe the world for being in it? For, for taking advantage of all the things that we don't have to fucking do anything. You know, I didn't make this fucking computer. Somebody made it. I appreciate it where the fuck made it because I look at how much communication I can get out to the world. I no longer need Hollywood. Hollywood can't even touch me anymore. Even if they came to uh, 
buy me, they can't. I'm not for sale, motherfucker. I'm just not for sale. So that's how it goes. This is your video blog of the day. All right. Appreciate your comments. Appreciate everything you're doing. All right. I'm CNH and peace.